Do you have a workshop module with a variety of scenarios that you might want to evaluate in one place? From this variety, you may want to choose one to update the underlying data. In this video, I will show you how to load your pre-saved scenarios and apply them to the underlying ontology. This will allow your users to move forward with their desired scenario and use it as a new frame of reference. This is the final video of the three-part video series on setting up scenarios in Workshop. You can find the links to the previous videos in the description. We can load save scenario objects into Workshop modules via the variable system. These save scenarios can be passed to the scenario manager as well as to any other scenario enable widgets. We need to create a new scenario array variable and select the scenario loaded from object set option. This will convert an object set of objects that implements the scenario trait into an array of scenario objects. The object set can be populated using a normal object set variable, which enables search around and filtering to access specific sets of scenarios. In this case, however, we will load the entire set of saved scenarios. If configured correctly, you will be able to preview the loaded scenarios by name in the current value section of the variable tab. The scenario array variable can then be used in any widget that accepts a scenario array, and it will update to reflect the loaded scenarios as the underlying variable update. You've now loaded your saved scenarios. We will carry on with how to apply a scenario to the underlying ontology. This will submit the changes to the ontology level, and so the underlying data will be changed. To apply scenarios, we need to choose the scenario event option from the button configuration in the button group widget. In the scenario event configuration section, select apply scenario and the scenario variable you want to apply when this button is pressed. You can also optionally specify an action to perform after successfully applying the scenario to the ontology. For example, you can choose to create a log of this modification or prompt the user with the next step in a particular process. If you choose to configure an action, the validation logic for that action will also be used to control apply permissions within the application. That is, a user must be able to run the configured apply action to be able to apply a scenario. If the scenario you are applying has been saved to an object, then the button will be disabled if there are any unsafe changes to the scenario. Now you know how to load and apply scenarios. Your users can now share their saved analysis with others or simply come back to them later and modify the assumptions that they check. By enabling the apply scenario option, you allow the users to first test several different hypotheses before submitting their findings to the ontology as a definitive strategy.